Do you believe that there is a God? Let's come to this. Before we handle God, let's handle belief first. Mm -hmm. Why do you believe something? One believes something because they are not sincere enough to admit that they do not know. There are only two ways to be. Either you know something or you do not know something. But whatever you do not know, when you bullshit yourself, it's called as belief. Instead of simply admitting, I do not know, you want to believe something. Somebody believes there is God, somebody believes there is no God, both are in the same boat. They think they are different, but both of them are not straight enough to admit that they do not know. What is the problem in seeing what I do not know as I do not know? They have a problem because they do not understand the immensity of I do not know. I do not know is a tremendous possibility. Only if you see I do not know, the possibility of knowing arises within you. If you see I do not know, the longing to know will come. If the longing comes, seeking will come. If seeking comes, the possibility is alive in your life. Everything that you do not know, if you believe, you're destroying the very possibility of knowing. There are belief systems and belief systems and belief systems. But at the same time, the idea of God is universal. Why this has come is, it is perfectly all right for people to create a God. This is the thing about this culture. Here we have thirty-three million gods and goddesses mm. because this is the only culture which understood God is our making. There's something called as Ishta Devata. You can create your own god today. If you can look at all the existing gods, if you don't like them, you can make your own god, a tree in your garden, a rock in your garden, your mother, your wife, anybody you want or whatever you want. You like this vessel, you can make this your god. Nobody thinks anything weird about it in this country because we understand this is our making. After all, in every piece of creation, the hand of the creator is there. Whatever you can relate to, you use that, it's perfectly fine. I don't want to argue on this. So, do you think all our epics, Mahabharat, Ramayan, Shankar, Ram, Sita, they are fake? No, they were historicity. Okay. There are buildings to prove that they were there, it's still in dispute. Mm. The dispute is on means they were definitely there, isn't it? <laughs> okay. No, uh, I will still want to probe a little further on this topic. We have a major mandir, masjid issue, Ayodhya issue, etc., etc. We are still fighting about that. So, why is all that fighting in fighting going on? If there is no God or if there is a I did not belief. say that. No, you said there is a belief, people needed somebody as a belief all the, of God. All the fight in the world, is not between good and evil as people project it to be. All the fight in the world is between one man's belief versus another man's belief. Mm -hmm. If you saw, I really do not know, you wouldn't fight with anybody. Because you believe one thing and somebody believes something else, you're invariably going to fight today or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's just a question if you can manage them for some time, someday it'll spill out on the street. There was a time when people worked with the instrument of belief, when the human intellect was in a certain way. Today it is time there is substantial intellect on the planet. Today it is time that we establish a certain level of seeking in a human being rather than just pumping him up with belief. Why do people believe you? Who said they believe me? This is a huge full house. No, no, they're looking… Everybody is They're clapping. sitting there evaluating every word that I say. I don't think they believe whatever I say. Mm. <laughs> To me, they look smart you, enough to understand I, and evaluate. I have performed in this auditorium, it's never been so full. <laughs> so there has to be something in their belief in you which makes me, them look up at you. Why do they trust you? Why do they believe in you so much? Now let's take off the word belief. Yes, they trust me. Okay, I mean my word <laughs> may be different. Do you think that Sadhguru has powers which you don't have? They can't ride a motorcycle like me, I'm sure. What are those powers? What makes you different? What makes you special? What makes Pallavi Gupta writing a book on you and calling it you? What makes people over here 
So many people I know who will not come to a function like this. They are here and they are here on time. What is it in you that makes you different? Because they know if they don't come on time, I won't let them in <laughs> But they dare not do that. So what makes you different? So what is different? It is not a question of something being different. When you don't try to be special, when you just live as life is, that you don't try to make yourself special because wanting to be special is coming from a certain an emptiness or a certain inadequacy within a human being. Where is the need to be special? Every human being is unique in his own way. If he tries to be special, he will only end up aping somebody, he will not be himself. So, when the life is unique, every leaf on the planet is unique, every atom in the existence is unique, where is the need for you to be special? Being unique is better than being special, isn't it? You have not yet answered my question. <laughs> I… I feel that it's important for me to know. Yes, right What now. is unique about you? See, the very nature of the existence is like this, the very nature of what's happening around you is like this. If you convert mud into food, we call this agriculture. It's the same mud. Can you eat the mud? Can you take it on your plate and eat it? No. But if you wait, you put a seed and wait, the same mud becomes food and how we value it and eat it. But it is something else, but when you eat it, it becomes flesh and bone, it becomes you and it's so valuable for you and so many other people. So this is the way of the life. What is filth will become a flower. If only you mature it in the right direction, this flower, its beauty and its fragrance comes from filth. The more filth you put at the root, better the flowers will grow. So, the question is not about what is different, the question is not about what is special, the question is just about will you allow yourself to mature or will you let yourself just roll in filth <laughs>